Nick is back with tons more heat. Let's hop in the Subi, you can take the front seat with a mic in my hand and a cam by my side. I'm bringing you updates, no need to hide. Repping the merch, the brand in bold. Beanies to keep you cozy and the jackets for the cold. Sipping from a mug, big bear style. Funny designs that will make you smile. Gifts for the kids, your dad and your mom. Check it out at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Good afternoon, everybody. It is March 24th, 2024. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the channel today. This is just an update video to show you guys what is going on through the town. So we're gonna do a little drive around the lake. Of course, one of the first areas we go through is the village when we're doing this drive. Hopefully I don't hit too much traffic leaving town, but I'm a little concerned. But it is what it is. It's a beautiful Sunday out here. Temperatures in the mid 30s. And we have a few inches of snow left remaining uh, to hit, hit town, possibly. <clears throat> but again, for all of you who saw it, said, you know, maybe up to a foot of snow. Some other people said, like, a foot and a half or two feet of snow. But what did I maintain? Two or three inches of snow, and I don't even think we got that much in, in some, some locations. I think my house, we got maybe two inches of snow. So we're going to be driving through the snowiest part of town first right now. The further we go this direction, it's the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley. I'm really excited about it. Um, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Don't forget, if you want to help help your brother out here, help support the channel, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com and pick you up some merchandise. And it's all really high, high quality stuff. We have everything from puffers and hoodies to tumblers which are those like really awesome cups that keep your drinks and stuff cold or keep them hot. Good, good, good stuff, man. And there's also other ways to help the channel in the description of the video. I could always use that help. So thank you guys for being so, so supportive. And then for your ski and snowboard rentals, here's Get Boards right there. That's the ski shop. And here's the snowboard shop. And I'm gonna show you how close these are to the village. There's the snowboard shop. And we're making the left here into the village. So as I said, they have the ride shop and the ski shop. One and two blocks away from our beautiful Big Bear Village right here. So if you guys do go in there, or I shouldn't say if, when you go in there and you mention that I'm the one who sent you, they will take care of you. And if you bring in your own equipment, you guys, they will, like if you bring in your own skis and your own snowboard, they'll wax it for free. Again, you have to, mention you're a friend of the channel and that's a 25 to 40 dollar value every time so you know take advantage of it these guys are awesome they they are there to help they're very knowledgeable the products are top-notch products like uh the most updated best stuff out there you've got stuff for every experience level um again you guys will be beyond happy and i try to remind you guys that I don't get paid or anything like that for these guys or for, for me talking about them and stuff. What I'm trying to do is refer you guys to the best possible shops up here because I want you guys to have the best possible time and save as much money as humanly possible. And I said possible so much right there. But yeah, guys, so I don't want anyone to think that I make any money doing stuff like this. It's because I want you guys to have the best experience. Um, and I'm the one who asked them if I can try to promote them to you guys. It's very important to me. So that's the situation with that place. And yeah, once again, just don't forget to mention you're a friend of the channel and they will definitely hook you up. It's called Get Boards. And in the description and in the comment section of the video, all the information you need about that place is 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 there. So yeah. And then again, you guys, I, I try to remind you guys how some of the business owners up here who really care about you guys, who realize that it's you guys, the tourists, who keep this town flowing. Without Without you guys, coming up here and spending money we don't get to live here 
and I'm very cognizant of this fact. And I want to make sure that everything I am doing is to help the particular business owners who care. So basically, um, what was I going to say? So right across the street from the Get Bored Ski Shop, which is the one that's two blocks away, there's another little shop called Big Bear Smoke and Vape. It, that's one of two shops. They have one right there next to Sandy's Sports Bar and the laundromat, and then they have another one in Big Bear City. And it's not just smoke and vape stuff, guys. They have little trinkets, little things that that locals have made and stuff like that. And and again, just any anybody up here who really, really cares about you guys, I wanna promote them as much as humanly possible. And once again, I don't make any money. I don't make any money from these guys at all. Again, my goal is to help you guys, to save as much as you can save and have the greatest time possible. So, and that's never ever going to change, guys. That That's 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 my motive through this whole thing. And uh, yeah, so check out Big Bear Smoke and Vape as well. The owner's name is Sahil, S-A-H-I-L. If you mention that I sent you, they will hook you up with a nice fat discount. So don't forget to mention that I sent you in there. And yeah, one thing, one other thing about get boards, guys, as you guys know, lift tickets are not cheap, right? I mean, they are not cheap. So if, if you want to save money on your lift tickets, go to getboards.com 72 hours, three days in advance of when you plan on actually going skiing or snowboarding. And if you order your ticket through getboards.com 72 hours in advance, you'll save a nice chunk of change as opposed to going straight to the ticket window on the day you plan on going skiing and buying your ticket. So 72 hours in advance, getboards.com, save yourself some money. You know, everything's so expensive up here. So again, anything I can do to help you guys preserve your hard earned money in these ways, I'm, I'm there, I'm, I'm gonna do it. So yeah, getboards.com. And then last but not least, you guys, a good friend of mine he goes by the name Morgan's brother. He's got a YouTube channel. He's done a lot of music videos for some of my favorite punk rock bands, like No Effects and other bands like that over the years. And he's got amazing video art. So I'm gonna be leaving his information in the comments section. And I would really beg you guys to just do me a huge, huge favor. Check out his YouTube channel and just see what he does. Um, he's so deserving. He's he's a wonderful, wonderful friend. I consider him one of my best friends. Um, and yeah, again, in this little town, we've got to stick together. And I'm never going to refer you guys to anyone just because they're nice people. I'm going to do it because they're nice people, but they have something of value to offer you guys. All right. So thank you for listening. It's, again. Morgan's Brothers YouTube channel will be in the comment section and just check it out and hopefully some of you will be willing to actually buy something some of his his video art so he does all this beautiful videography and then he brings it to life and then sells it like uh, he's just such a great guy so anyway I love you guys thank you for always being so supportive Again, I will never refer you guys to anything bad or horrible or shady or a waste of money. My whole goal is to have you guys come up here and when you're leaving town to head back home, I want you to be sad. Not in a bad way, but I, I want you to not want to go home. I want you guys to want to stay here. So again, thank you for listening to all of this. Um, I'm trying to do the best I can, as I said, to help the lo uh, some of the local business owners and give you guys the best experience that I, I possibly can. All right, so we are on Big Bear Boulevard. Temperature is 36 degrees. And we are headed towards the snowiest part of Big Bear Valley. So when I say the snowiest part of the valley, basically anything at the elevation of our lake or just above it, that is what I consider our valley, right? 
So this is the snowiest part of that elevation. The further we go this direction that we're going here, yes. So there is a neighborhood or two over near Moon Ridge, like Upper Moon Ridge, that because of the elevation and its location right next to to the mountain, they get a ton of snow also. So just uh, you know, any questions you guys have about where to rent rent a place to be where it snows the most up here, I love answering these questions for you guys, and I want you guys to enjoy your time like I do and seek out all the snow because now that I've been here for nine years now I know exactly where you need to go and where you want to rent and we have an Airbnb property um, on the channel it's a friend Jay he's the one who does all my commercials and promos and all that stuff he's so talented he's an aerospace engineer during the day which is just super cool he's 27 years old and just extraordinarily brilliant his passion is videography photography and and the website stuff but again he does have a nice Airbnb in one of the snowiest parts of the whole town really close to Bear Mountain um, in the middle to upper Moon Ridge area on a street called Sheephorn. So if you guys want to stay at a nice Airbnb, he's where you want to go. And uh, just make sure, once again, like everybody else, don't forget to mention that you're a friend of the channel because he will take care of you. I, I'm so, I, I get so excited that that I get to do this for you guys. Like, it feels so good. And I'm sorry that I, I never shut up. I know I constantly ramble, 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 but again, it's, if I'm super annoying, but I'm getting things accomplished for you guys, like saving money and having a better time, then you know what? I'll always be super annoying. I just wish I had a different tact to be able to you know, articulate and spread the news and information about all these things to you guys without being my annoying self. Anyway, here we are at Boulder Bay State Park, or not State Park, Boulder Bay Park. What a great spot. I'm telling you, it's so pretty. Temperature is 34 degrees. Wow, look at how beautiful that is. My goodness gracious, great balls of fire. So, as I said, the remainder of this storm, there's a potential to get a few more inches of snow. Me personally, I don't even think we're going to get another whole inch out of it, but. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy or a cup is half empty type of a guy, a pessimist. I'm just telling you from my experience what I'm expecting. So I don't even think we're going to get another inch by the time this storm is completely done by the overnight hours. Um, but guess what, you guys? Next week, next Friday, looks like we have something pretty significant coming in. And... Uh, I'm believing in this one big time. So if you guys are considering coming up here, I'm so confident that it is gonna be a decent storm that you might wanna to try to get your ducks in a row and get your place booked and just be ready to have a wonderful time. It's so pretty over here. Oh my goodness. It just warms my heart so much, you guys. Almost makes me want to cry. I know that's pathetic, but it's so pretty. We are so lucky to live in this beautiful spot. Uh, but yeah, so... And as we get around these corners here, I will let you guys know a little more in depth about next week's weather. Again, it, it could be something pretty darn great. Let me just double check it for y'all. Let's 
so it looks like it's pushed back I'm not not gonna start next Friday the 29th it's probably gonna start on Saturday the 30th oh my gosh big potholes so it looks like on Saturday guys next week just Saturday we could see a foot of snow just Saturday folks so that's super exciting nothing has changed only the amounts of snow have changed to more and more snow as we get closer so that's fantastic don't forget if you have any questions about this guys I am here for you and then Sunday we've got a few more inches of snow next Sunday so by the time this next storm is done we could have a nice foot of fresh snow out here for you guys so please keep in mind we are nearing the end of our snowy season we can get snow all the way through late May, you guys, and I've, I've recorded it numerous times. I remember maybe three or four years ago on May 31st, we had about three or four inches of brand new snow, and I was, I was begging Mother Nature to please keep it up for another few hours because I wanted to be able to say that I've seen it snow up here in June, but the snow ended a few hours before June 1st. But yeah, guys, so we can get snow late. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. And I think maybe 70% of the Mother's Day, Mother Day, Mother's Day up here, since I've lived here, we've had snow on Mother's Day. So just keep that in mind, guys, and uh, let's do this. Look at the snowplow guy. Look at the snowplow guy. Oh, it's just such a cute little snowplow truck. I love the snowplow truck. So if we'd go straight, we would be leaving town and heading into Running Springs and whatnot, but we just made a right on Highway 38 to head into the Fawn Skin area and do a beautiful drive right alongside the lake. Just spectaculoso. Roll down my windows a little bit so you guys can get the best views possible. Again, thank you guys for being here with me. Thank you guys for allowing me to, to never be quiet and uh, just share my passion with you guys. I really enjoy doing this for you guys and with you guys. You guys mean an awful lot to me. So thank you again for absolutely everything. And let's keep on kicking butt and taking names, guys. I wanna get you guys more involved in this channel and some of the new ideas that we're coming up with. You guys are my brothers and sisters, and I'm one of the luckiest men in the whole entire world to have you guys in my life. So let's kick butt together, you guys, huh? I don't know why I had that song stuck in my head. Oh, look at how pretty it is right along the lake. Oh my gosh, guys, this is just epic. Look at how beautiful this is. Temperature has dropped down to 33 degrees. So it's a pretty chilly day. Believe it or not, one of the colder high temperatures that we've had all season. Can you believe that? And it's already the end of March. Crazy. Oh, it's so pretty. Just wonderful. So I am going to try to shut up for a little bit and just enjoy some of the beauty without me being so annoying. Don't forget, guys, if you do get annoyed with me, ramble, 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 um, hit the mute button and put some nice music on in the background. I think that would be gorgeous. I think that would be gorgeous. So consider doing that. Because I don't want to annoy you guys. You guys are too important to me. Oh, it's so 
pretty. Look at these blue skies, man. Unbelievable. I was gonna shut up, that's right. So I'm gonna try to be quiet until we get to the outpost Big Bear. <clears throat> it's lodging over in Fonskin. I've seen it a lot, I've, I've learned a lot about it. It seems like such a wonderful place, but the reason I've never stayed there is because you can't book your stay on Expedia or Hotels.com or anything like that. You have to book it straight through the outpostbigbear.com. So if you guys want to get away from the hustle and bustle of all the tourism on that side of the lake and enjoy a peaceful, peaceful stay in Fonskin, literally right on Grout Creek, that's where we are headed right now. And I'll, I, w I will point it out. Make sure that, you know, I don't know if you'll get a discount if you mention me, but just try to mention me and maybe they'll hook you up. I'm not sure, not sure at all, but it, it wouldn't hurt to ask, right guys? Oh, beautiful. I think we're gonna pull into the outpost. But yeah, we're coming up here on Grout Creek over here on the right hand side. And as I said, some of these rooms are right on Grout Creek, like just spectacular, just remarkable. So let's do it. Here it is on the right hand side. These new owners purchased this place in 2021. They've done some major renovations and have changed this place. So let's just do a quick little... Oh yeah. So this is the outpost area. And right behind that fence right there, that's Grout Creek Tributary, guys, right back there. And I think Rachel and I are gonna be staying in room number two over here. I don't know which one that is. This is four and three, and here's five. So it's gotta be back a little bit more. But yeah, this is the outpost of Big Bear, guys. You're right next to a bunch of beautiful hiking trails. And as I said, you're in a very quiet part of this whole Big Bear Valley. This is literally the getaway. So you don't have to deal with just nonstop tourism, hustle and bustle. So there's no one behind us. We're gonna kind of go really slow past Grout Creek right now, just so you guys can uh, see what I'm talking about. So Grout Creek is flowing and it's absolutely beautiful. So right on the right hand side there, these cabins will be right there. How cool, I mean, how cool is that? Like you're gonna be right on Grout Creek tributary. It's spectacular. because we just went through downtown Fonskin and it is such a small little area. If you do blink while you're watching these videos, you'll miss it completely. You will miss it completely and you'll be loving it and having fun. Woo. Oh, it's 
spectacular, guys. I know I say that word a lot, but it really is spectacular over here. A little peekaboo view of the lake right there, just wonderful. Sorry for the loud defroster, but I want to make sure that we get all this snow off. This is one of my favorite houses up here. It reminds me of the houses in the neighborhood that I grew up in Newport Beach on a little island called Linda Isle. You know what, we're gonna let this guy pass. kind of flying up on us. Not even a thank you. Not even a darn thank you. Temperature's back up to 34 degrees, y'all. Oh, it's so pretty. My beautiful bride and me. Look at that. Look at that. With all the dirt in the background, that's not too attractive, but. Oh, look at They got a new house they're building right here. Gosh, they build these things so fast. So cool, man. Look at this big old truck. Holy smokes, holy smokes, holy smokes. All right, we're about to exit Fawn Skin. We are on Highway 38, also known as North Shore. Smells like firewood. I love this smell so much. It's wonderful.
spectacular. <laughs> I say that too much, don't I? Temperatures jumped up to 35 degrees. So when we started, it started at 36 degrees. And it went all the way down to 33 degrees. And now we're back up to 35. Cutting across Stanfield Cutoff like we usually do, we're going to keep on going to Division Road and take that into Moon Ridge, okay? And we're going to hit up Upper Moon Ridge, just a quick little, just so you guys can see the snowiest neighborhood in all of Big Bear, see how much snow is up there. And then we will be done with this beautiful video today. Does this ever get old for you guys, honestly? Because for me, it, it never gets old. Every snowstorm brings a different visual for this town. Every single one. But again, look at how little snow we have. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but once again, like I've, I was right so far when it comes to the original prediction I know a lot of you were were telling me that you saw that we're gonna get like a foot or more of snow out of this whole thing. So hopefully those of you who have been skeptical of my skills are not as skeptical anymore. I'm only trying to give you guys the best information possible. steep run at Bear Mountain. Alright, so we're turning right here on Division Road. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Here's the airport, you guys, right here. That is our beautiful little airport. And over here, the lake is over there that way. As I said, going to Moon Ridge the back route, the back way in. And we're gonna hit up Upper Moon Ridge, just a small portion. Just 
just so you guys can see what's what's going on. And it looks like at this snow play area, we got a bunch of people doing some sledding. That makes me so happy to see that. Right beyond this building right there, look at that. So cool, you guys. I love seeing you guys with your families having a wonderful time. Again, it smells like that firewood smell. Oh, it's so nice. Like a pine mixed in with firewood. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, so we just went from McAllister, and now we're on Fox Farm Road here, and I believe this turns into McAllister right now. So we're back on McAllister. Two of my favorite houses in all of Big Bear, right next door to each other. And I'm pretty certain they're both Airbnb properties, so yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're heading into Middle Moon Ridge now. About to start climbing into Upper Moon Ridge. Definitely excited to see the amount of snow that we have up here. As you can see, there's a lot more snow already. Again, this is Middle and Upper Moon Ridge. And in this elevation is where our Airbnb for the channel is located as well. But even in a more snowy area off of Sheep Horn. We're on Villa Grove, we're gonna turn right on Butte. We'll take Butte all the way up to the very top. And as I said, we're not gonna be doing much of a drive in Upper Moon Ridge. I just want us to get to see what is happening up top. drive by the Airbnb on the channel. Again guys, I think you'll really, really enjoy it. I made a video there. It's in the lodging portion of my playlist. So go, go to the playlist on the channel, click on lodging, and find the sheep horn getaway. So you can see it with your own eyes before you even come up. Alright, we're back on Villa Grove, folks. We are in Upper Moon Ridge, climbing a little bit more, but we are in Upper Moon Ridge now. As I said, we're just going to do a quick little scoop through this area. We're going to turn right on Luna. This beautiful little cabin right here, man, what a view they have in the back. Holy smokes. 
Now we're on sheep horn. See that, guys? You see what we just did there? Now we're on sheep horn. Wow, look at that. So nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. I know our friends Cindy and Mark on the channel. She goes by Moon Ridge, or she has another username, Sheephorn something. And I think we're passing their place like right now or something, but just want to say hi to you guys. Hope you all are doing well. Temperature is 35 degrees. The time is 1.04 p.m. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Atta boy. Holy moly. All right, we're coming up to our Airbnb on the channel, guys. There it is, that brown big building right there. That is all us right here, guys. Hot tub right outside of the master bedroom, right there on the left-hand side up top. It's a great place, you guys. As I said, this is a very snowy part of town, okay? And really close to Bear Mountain. This place is where you want to be and as I said in the description of the video you can find the information for that particular place send Jay a message tell him you're a friend of the channel okay and he will take care of you as you guys can imagine since it is in one of the most sought-after locations in this whole area it's not cheap but again with your discount it'll save you a pretty penny and it'll be worth it, I promise. It'll be worth it. I always suggest trying to stay during the week if you can. Like on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. And we're coming up to Moon Ridge Road. Wow, look at all this stuff falling from the roof. I'm just trying to get you guys the best prices possible. And again, during the week, that's when you want to stay don't want to stay in any of these places on the weekends you guys okay it just it's so expensive here's the golf course favorite ski resort in all of Southern California. This is where I learned how to ski at 10 years old in 1990, spending time with my big brother. One of my three big brothers. Here we go. Look at these piles of snow. Holy moly. <laughs> That's just great. Just wonderful.
all I have to say is, wow, guys, we are so lucky to live here. I am so lucky to live here. Little kids just running out in the middle, middle of the street. Parents aren't even paying attention to them. Come on, parents. You've got to do better. Roads are slick. You gotta watch out for your, your beautiful little children, you know? And it's 32 degrees. We have got down to freezing. there's a lot of traffic on this road we do have someone just putting along which is fine but assuming that you guys are leaving at 4 p.m. and there's bumper to bumper traffic right here I'll show you a way to get through all of this without having to deal with the craziness so this next street we're gonna turn left on it's called Willow I believe going through the neighborhood. These houses on the left back up to the forest. So you get a lot of bear sightings over here. Because as I said, right on the other side, you're right in the forest. Moon Ridge looks like they got some pretty good snow as well. Don't forget guys, if you have any questions about anything, please ask because I, I want to do the best I can to give you guys the best experience possible, okay? And don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button, share these videos, make sure you have your notification bell on. I know I put out a lot of videos so it can get a little bit annoying, but just understand you're really helping and supporting this channel and I put a lot of effort into it. Um, and yeah, I would just be super, super thankful if you guys did that for me, so thank you. All right, so now we're on Elm Street, and we're gonna take this all the way to Moon Ridge Road to where the roundabouts are. So again, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for doing this, this update video all around the snowiest parts of the whole entire valley and snowiest neighborhoods. Thank you again for everything. I do love you guys with all my heart. And uh, yeah, hit like and subscribe, help me out. And I'll see you guys soon. If anything picks up, if the weather picks up a lot, we'll be doing another video probably soon. Um, but no matter what, we'll be doing the aftermath tomorrow and then the next day posting the time lapse. So thank you guys again for everything, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. March 24th, 2024, baby. In beautiful, beautiful Big Bear Lake, California.